Danny Haynes with another real review. On this episode, we're going to be going over Kingsman, the Secret Service. Manners maketh man. Let me start off by saying I thought this movie was going to suck. When the trailers for this started coming out, I was like, this is going to be just a shit movie. They're just grabbing at everything that they can. But this movie totally blew me out of the water. Is it amazingly deep? No. It's one of those movies that you go to the theater to have a good time. It doesn't take itself too seriously at all. When it starts to get a little too serious, it breaks the ice and makes you laugh. And then it might jump into an action scene, or it might just jump into some raunchy humor, which there is plenty of in this movie. Kingsman is directed by Matthew Vaughn, and it stars Colin Firth, Taron Edgerton, I hope I'm not tearing his name to shreds, and Samuel Jackson. Okay, to start off, the Kingsman is about a secret spy organization that recruit a promising but very unrefined uh, kid into the agency's very competitive training program to become the next operative. Just as an evil, twisted tech genius, played by Samuel Jackson, carries out a threat of global proportions. So without giving too much of it away, in my opinion, like I said, this is a great movie. If you want to just go to the movies and have a good time, just sit down, be entertained, be wowed by the action, laugh at the raunchy humor that they have, go see it. I highly recommend it. As I said in the beginning, I saw the previews, thought this movie was going to suck. I think a lot of that helped because the movie was rated R, whereas before I thought it was rated PG-13. Not to say that the R rating was the only thing that helped this movie, just that I think that the R rating was best for the movie, because I don't think it would have been half as good if we had to suffer through PG-13 dialogue and violence restrictions. This movie does have a lot of very crude and raunchy British dialogue in it, and a ridiculous amount of violence. The action was like I said, ridiculous and awesome and funny all at the same time. Definitely don't go into this movie for believability or anything in all the action that they do. It is so over-exaggerated violence, but they do it in a good way. In a way that makes you have fun in the theater while you're watching it. Like you're wowed and you're laughing all at the same time. Colin Firth is an ass-kicking machine in this movie. I never thought I'd see him in an action movie let alone something of this proportion. And he pulls it off so well. He's the suave, gentleman, clean-cut person that we all know him from his movies, but then literally at the drop of an insult, kick a switch gets turned on, and people die. A lot of people die. And now to Taron Edgerton. I really hope I'm pronouncing his first name right. This is his first starring role. And I thought this kid would be the one to take me out of the movie because he's so inexperienced with acting. But he ends up holding his own. He carries himself very well with the action. He does most of his own stunts. What completely floored me is that he is actually pretty damn funny. I don't know if it was the lines that he said himself or if it was just the way that he delivered them. But he did a damn good job and I definitely look forward to seeing him in some future movies. Next top billed actor is Samuel Jackson. Samuel Jackson plays the evil tech genius in the movie that plans to destroy the world. His character is what I thought was going to ruin the movie, if there was any chance for this movie. Mainly because of what I saw in the trailers, it was the lisp. The lisp. It was completely taking me out of the trailer, so what would it do in the movie? But Samuel Jackson actually pulled it off. And not only that, the character ended up being one of the funniest characters in the movie. The character doesn't just have a lisp, he has a couple of other little ticks. I won't give them away, but you'll find them out in the movie. Every time Samuel Jackson came into a scene, I was sure to laugh every freaking scene. He pulled it off, and all I gotta do is say good job. You definitely had me fooled there, Sam. You can ask anybody, anybody that I talked to or had a conversation with about this movie. The number one thing that I said about it was this movie was gonna suck. And I even named off all the stuff that I was gonna hate. But then I saw the movie, and everything that I hated about the trailer, I ended up loving in the movie. This is one of the first flicks to ever do that for me. 
I guess the moral of the story is, don't judge a book by its cover, or a movie by its trailer. So what did you think about the movie? Did you go see it? You want to go see it? Leave your creative and interesting responses in the comments section below. Like the video. Share it with your friends. And also, if you like what you saw here, and you want to see more, subscribe on YouTube, and check out our channel. And if you want to keep up to date with the family, go ahead and like us on Facebook. We're the only one. So let us know in the responses if there's a movie that you want us to review. This has been Real Reviews with Danny Haynes. Catch you later.